from. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca um, and I'm here today, um, well welcome back for a start, um, but I'm here to introduce you to our herd of Asian elephants. So I know you can't be with us here at the zoo today but it is a lovely day and life for our elephants goes on as normal. Um, so we have seven elephants here at Chester and those of you who know us well will know that we have a big family called the Highway Family. Um, so Ty there with the hay on her head, that is the matriarch of um, our family here and this is her, the herd itself is made up of her daughters, granddaughters and her little boy Anjan. Um, I'm sure you will have seen um, very recently we have a new arrival to our herd, little Reva Highway. So Reva's the tiny one there, you see she's Sandara's daughter and she was born just a few weeks ago. Here at the zoo we have Asian elephants. Um, there are only about 40,000 Asian elephants left in the wild. Um, and Asian elephants are physically different to African elephants. Um, and the easiest way to tell is by their ears. Asian elephants have much smaller ears. baby you can see at the front here that's in Dali. So it's actually been a year this week since in Dali um, was we found out she had the horrible elephant herpes virus um, and she is the first calf that has actually been treated successfully and here she is a year later in the sunshine. Not quite how we imagined it today. Um, it's very quiet here at the zoo um, but she has been as you can see a really good big sister to little Reva there as well. They are pretty much inseparable while she learns how to be a mum. see the adults here picking up a bit of scatter of pellets that we're throwing them. Um, little Reva is too little to be eating solid foods at the minute. She relies completely on milk from mum. So she'll be following her mum around still very closely at the minute. here as well today you can see Maya. So Maya is the big elephant just behind these guys here. Maya is the only unrelated elephant in the group and she is our oldest lady. We reckon she must be coming up to about 60 years old now Maya. Okay, so the routine hasn't really changed for our elephants. Elephants eat for about 16 hours a day constantly. Um, so we provide them with hay in the nets, which we make it nice and difficult for them to reach. Um, we don't like to make it too easy for them to get their food. In the wild, they'd have to travel much further than they do. Um, so we do want to make it hard and spread it out, make it last them a bit longer throughout the day. Um, we also have browse, so all the sticks that are dotted around the paddock now is what's left of the browse that we put out this morning. Coming over into shot now is Angbo. So Angbo is our one resident bull elephant and he is the dad to our calves here. So Angbo is very good with our babies here. It's not actually very natural for a bull to have much to do with the babies and the females in the wild. So they would either be solitary or they would go around in something called a bachelor group which is made up of just males of all different ages as so they learn how to do what male elephants should do. But he does like to spend a little bit of time out here. He needs his socialising as well. And generally, he's very well behaved. Little Anjan 
He was around here somewhere, but he's our little boy elephant. He'll be two in May, and at the moment he's just obsessed with his dad. He likes to play, he likes to push them around. Little boys act very differently to little girls, so whereas in Dali is learning how to be a mum and uh, copying everything her mum does, looking after her little sister, Anjan at the moment is just trying to push her over and, uh, <laughs> and get in the way and push things and break things like little boys do. So it's really good that we've started to see that interaction between him and his dad and Gro as well. Reva still looks a little bit wobbly, our tiny baby. Um, it takes them a very, very long time to learn how to use their trunks. They don't really get the full extent of the muscle movements until they're about two years old. But she doesn't really need it at the minute. She only drinks milk that goes straight into her mouth. So until she learns to pick things, food up for herself, um, you'll see her sort of learning what to do with it. She doesn't really know. <laughs> and babies sleep a lot as well. Like human babies, they sleep a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm sure she's enjoying a nice little sunbathe there as well. You might notice that only our bull elephant has tusks. In the Asian species only the males get the tusks and actually we reckon only about a third of them actually get the full ivory. Um, whereas African elephants, the males and the females, both have the tusks. So actually, for them in the wild, poaching isn't their biggest problem. Um, Asian elephants are mostly affected by human-elephant conflict. So elephants have been around a very long time. They're very routine and they pass down paths that they walk through through the generations. Um, and unfortunately, as human population expands, it expands onto the elephant's natural space of where they would normally go through. An elephant doesn't know the difference between plantation or somebody's house and food. And so we work with projects in Assam um, and we learn, we teach people, their villagers, how to sustainably look after their elephants. Um, it's understandable that people react and retaliate towards elephants because um, they can cause a lot of damage and they are very, very dangerous animals. Um, but there are ways to keep elephants out of their land. Um, without hurting them. Such things such as electric fences, which they're just going to get a shock off of it. It's not going to hurt them long term. And there's also other ways to make an income as well so that farmers aren't purely relying on their crops. see the elephants throwing dust on themselves. When the weather's like this they actually use mud and dust as a sun cream. They also use it to exfoliate um, and it keeps the flies off them as well. So they really use the habitat that we give them. Sundara there is digging for some fruit that we've buried. Like I say we don't make it too easy for them to get all their goodies in one day and they have an incredible sense of smell so she'll have absolutely no problem digging out an apple. <laughs> digging out an apple from that sand. And Reva's trying to help there as well. Elephants are very peaceful and quiet animals generally. I'm sure you can hear now, it's, it's almost silent. You wouldn't know they were there unless you could see them.
during the day. As keepers, we pretty much leave them to it. Um, as I say, they eat for about 16 hours a day, so that's their main priority, as well as looking after the babies in the herd. We do health checks morning and afternoon, especially for the babies, just to keep an eye out for that horrible EEHV um, virus. But we do keep it as short as possible. They don't really care too much about us. Not nearly as much as we care about them anyway. There's little Anjan made an appearance now. You can tell he's a slightly smaller one of the bigger calves and he's got little tushes coming through. So there's little bits of ivory that you see coming out of his mouth. We don't know yet if they're gonna be tusks or the little tushes that you can see Sundara has. The females just grow smaller teeth. Um, but he's, he's coming through now and he's using them as well. So when he starts to play with Indali, which we like to see, um, he is starting to push around a little bit. You can see there's poor scratches on Indali there. <laughs> As I say, that's what little boys do though. Little boys learn to just push things over and break things. Okay, so have you enjoyed our little stuff off the elephants today? They're just going to carry on eating, I think. <laughs> um, please join us again um, at one o'clock when the teams will be taken over at the Butterfly House. So it's very exciting. We'll see you then.